Hi, I'm Lina Abujarade. I'm a Palestinian Jordanian artist. I'm currently living in Amman, Jordan. For the past 10 years, I've been utilizing different art mediums in order to tell the story of Palestine and the Middle East in general. I consider myself to be an artivist, an activist through art. And what that means is I use my art as a voice to highlight important matters that you might not see in the media and so this includes colonialism, white supremacy, women's rights, all of these issues that I'm so passionate about. I use my art as a tool to shed some light and, and tell these important stories. With my art I like to combine poetry and different types of artistic mediums. Some of these mediums include um, making short films, uh, one of which recently won an award in the United Nations. I, I use stop motion animation, I use face painting, I use all different types of art mediums in order to get my point across and, and, and shed that light. So although art is my ultimate passion, I've always had a full-time job just because we do know that art is a really hard field to crack. And so I've worked in international organizations and most recently I've been working as an art teacher. In addition to that, I also have started an art initiative called Arky Smile. For the past six years, we've been a volunteer group. We've been painting murals all over Jordan um, in different governorates, and, and our work has uh, developed into art programs for underserved youth. We've worked with refugees. We've worked with youth with disabilities all to utilize art to empower youth the way that it empowered me as a teenager. So this is currently my makeshift art studio uh, simply because all of my family's in the house now. All my siblings came back from the US and they're living with us. I've moved everything to here. Uh, this is our guest living room but I've taken it over and I've made it into my art studio. As you can see I have a lot of art supplies everywhere. I have a lot of things that I'm working on. And that just shows, you know, how adaptive you have to be during the situation in terms of like an art space. People don't really realize like how tedious certain art projects can be. So I'm currently working on a video for the COVID-19 situation and uh, literally I've been working on editing 900 different shots. Um, it's going to be a stop motion animation and I've had to edit each shot over one another. Um, and I've been working on this for over a month now. I hope that I'll finish it soon, but it's a lot of work. Although the COVID-19 situation has been very hard in terms of um, not being able to socialize, not being able to, to go out, it's harder on, on so many people depending on their circumstances. But for me, the silver lining was that um, I was able to like stay at home and really focus all of my time for my artistic pursuits and my artistic projects. I'm currently not going to work and I have all this free time to, to really tackle all these projects that I've always put on the side. I've always said that I'll eventually get to and I think in the past two months I've been, I've been able to really make an online presence for myself that I haven't been able to do for the past five years simply because I've been able to draw every single day and I've been able to, to post all of my work on social media which is in itself it's almost like a full-time job so unlike other jobs where you have like deadlines where you have a manager uh, being an artist really requires self-motivation and this is one thing that I've been struggling with because usually we get motivation from meeting people, talking to people, going out to events. All of these things really motivate artists. Being stuck at home and, and kind of being stuck with our thoughts, being around the same people and in the same place all the time uh, really kind of forces that forced me to, to evaluate like what inspires me and, and trying to find different ways for self-inspiration in the smallest things. It also requires a lot of discipline because as I said we don't always have deadlines, we don't have managers so it's all about us managing ourselves and managing our work and making sure that we're being as productive as possible in this time. It's all about like making to-do lists, all about being organized, organizing my different art projects that I'm working on. I have like around 200 works in progress at the moment and it's just about, you know, getting, getting each one done. This time has also given me the privilege of being able to, to react to certain situations with my art. So before, you know, with a job, with other commitments, um, it's very hard to react to certain events in the moment. 
Um, but with what's happening in Minneapolis, for me this was one of the times where I actually was able to react to it right away. And my artwork has been able to reach hundreds of thousands of people thanks to that. And I think the COVID-19 situation really, really brought like our societal problems to the surface. And it really showed how much of a rift there is between different people. It showed the privilege that some people have versus the lives that other people are living. For some people, the COVID-19 situation has become a life or death situation. So for me, being able to see all these societal problems has really inspired my art. In terms of the Palestinian cause and how the COVID-19 has affected our activism, for me, I see certain positives um, in, in the fact that I feel like the Palestinian community in the diaspora has become more connected. I think since everything is online now, what with Zoom meetings, I think all the conferences have become um, Zoom conferences, online conferences. And so for me personally, in, in the recent times, I've been asked to participate in so many more events than I would have otherwise, simply because a lot of these events take place in Europe or the United States and I live in Jordan. And so it gave them that opportunity to expand and really include Palestinians from different geographical locations. And I think this is something really positive because in these type of events, obviously we need different perspectives and, and people that come from different locations. Another thing is I've been able to utilize social media a lot more since everyone is on social media at, at this moment. Because we have people's attention, I think as artists it's really important for us to utilize this time to tell uh, really important stories and, and highlight really important art. And I've seen so many like Palestinian art groups and so many Palestinian art galleries that are happening online um, that wouldn't have been happening otherwise. Certain art spaces in our community are very much monopolized and very much exclusive. And so this kind of opens it up for artists from all over the world to get an audience and, and to have a voice. And I think that's a great thing and it really should highlight um, the importance of being inclusive in our art spaces, in our art communities. During this time, because all of the activism and all the art is online, it's really helped us kind of find intersectionality between movements. So for me, um, I've been doing a lot of work for the Black Lives Movement and in response to you know the recent killing of George Floyd. And I was able to draw parallels to the Palestinian cause, to the Native American cause, to indigenous people. And I think that's really important for us all to find intersectionality and to work together against all forms of oppression because in a sense they are interconnected. During this situation, it allowed me to really explore creative ways to tell um, the stories of Palestinians and to really highlight injustices against Palestinians and so it really made me think of what really is a virus. There are so many like systems of oppression in place that are taking thousands, millions of lives. I believe that one of the biggest um, viruses plaguing our times is Zionism, which the UN declared a, a type of racism. And so I really wanted to highlight that by showing that although we wear protective masks to protect us against the coronavirus, we also wear our Palestinian kufiyya to protect us against Zionism and the idea of cultural theft of, of Palestinian identity. Art is resistance and art is such an important integral part in really getting our narrative out there to the world.